What's going on, Collectors Optical 20? Back for another video review. This time, it's Batpod. Uh, I just reviewed Batman Begins, so I, I know this is an older, not figure, but vehicle. But this is for the people who just recently got into the game and maybe looking into purchasing an, a Batpod. Now, there's two versions of Batpod. There's version 1 and version 2. From what I know, there's really no difference outside of the box. Uh, V1 is... Um, you, you you can tell it's like an older display piece, but like I said, it, I don't think there is much of a difference. I, I purchased this a while back, you know, when I was just really obsessed about the Dark Knight, and I still am, you know. I, most of my collecting uh, collection are consisting of Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, you know, just the Nolan trilogy. But I'm, I'm pretty sure there's people out there who's, uh, who wants a reissue or looking at this at eBay and, and asking themselves, is it worth it? So this visual, I would say visual tour or something, as the Nobi would say, uh, it's not even an unboxing because the box is kept a, a while back in, in the garage and it's such a huge box. But there's a lot of details in this thing, as you can see there. There's this light uh, light up functionality that it's really bright and I haven't changed the battery since I got this. And uh, I keep the batteries in in the figure or in the vehicle. Uh, just I just like it like that. I mean, if it breaks, it breaks. You know, I'm not gonna subject myself into because every once in a while I want it on. Every once in a while I want to take a picture of it. But you can see all the details that it does have. It's it's just wonderful. All those kick panels and this wires and 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 everything. Nowadays, if you go to eBay, you'll probably find this at around 350 to 400 range and back in the day it was a little bit more expensive because it came out and the dark knight boom was out there and it's it, it i bought it for somewhat around that price and i considered it as, as a good price but now i think the collectors have moved on from dark knight and this you can you can have this for a little bit cheaper honestly uh you can have this for like i said 350 back in the day it'll go up as, as, as much as 450 and i'm sure there's still some listings on ebay for that price uh but it's up to you not to buy it and for this figure right here it's i mean this vehicle it's a perfect combination because it's not too big it's not like the uh what do you call that the uh, the tumbler where you require a lot of space it's bigger than a normal figure obviously you still need to accommodate some space to it but it's it's also not like i said it's not that bulky but then again it's, it's a good size the price is not too much compared to the tumbler the black uh tumbler if you buy it now i think you're gonna have to pay 800 dollars at least or 700 which is that's two figures this is nowadays if it's 350 you can get it this for 350 400 that's really a price of an iron man die cast nowadays so if you tell me would i like this more than the iron man i would say you know this this is kind of unique you you can get several iron mans you know which yes the armor is going to be a little bit different but this is this is a pretty unique piece for let's say 400 dollars if you do get it for that price and um, as you can see here, there's a lot of details in here. I didn't put all those tape. There's like black tapes in it already, uh, I guess, to contain some of the wires. And it's um, it's nice and neat. Yeah, you can see here, we're going to zoom out a little bit. The construction of the vehicle itself is a bit flimsy. It is made out of plastic, and there's a lot of moving parts. And those moving parts uh, just falls off randomly just randomly so you can see here i don't know i'm trying to focus on the yeah right there on and this is how you remove the battery compartment i should have edited that i was just getting <laughs> lazy with this thing so this is where the battery is but you can see inside the, the execution is quite nice this is the barrel of the gun that is attached to the bat pod and you can see at the, the top right there there's some there's some uh what do you call those those heat marks or whatever you want to call them uh, nicely detailed man there's a lot of weathering there's a lot of um, you know, different shading and all that stuff all over this vehicle that makes it unique and the rubber on on the tires on this thing is is beautiful now there's stoppers in there but I just want you to marvel right now because there's there's no accessories this is one huge piece of accessory so all you got in here is that uh, you go up and down you just show Oh, I didn't even notice that there is this, uh, maybe that's a, a NOS bottle in there to give him a little extra boost of uh, turbo. And those pieces, this one in the, I don't know, handguard or forearm guard, if you want to call them so. 
uh, they detach way too easily. Some of the collectors that I've known back in the day when I was like looking for, they super glued it. I try not to do anything permanent with any of my collection as far as modifying it. Because you never know when you're going to sell an item. So I try to keep them as stock as possible. Uh, but yeah, some people just super glue them. And I, I reckon that works really quite nice because like I mentioned earlier, this one is annoying. So right now I'm not even describing you anything that you see here. I just want you to look at and marvel at at the, this magnificent piece, basically. Uh, all the details that came into it. This is more like the engine slash battery compartment and this gray piece right here does move you just take off the top i'm i think it runs in two triple a's or something like that i forgot what it runs with at the bottom that's where you're gonna find the switch this one does move uh this handle i don't know what the handle was for honestly and this is the uh the back part the kick uh the, i would say kick plate or something of the i don't i don't ride a motorcycle so i don't know if you can even consider this as a motorcycle i suppose but yeah, originally on the movie, as you know, this is a part of the tumbler. This is where he is sitting and then converts to a bat pod when he, like, reaches down and uh, the tumbler explodes. But, yeah, I mean, for 350 nowadays, have I not had this? Would I buy this for 350 Most likely. Uh, I've had this for years now, so the, uh, the excitement kind of wore off, honestly. Uh, it's hard to display this too if you want to contain it in the base now if you're just gonna display him by himself uh, you can have like Selena Kyle standing right next to it as you can see here but with a case because it doesn't fit a detolf unless you modify your detolf uh, this is Catwoman writing it um, as you can see here it's beautiful yeah I'm, I'm, I'm being shaky in here try to use my uh, uh, <laughs> my steady cam there you go, Catwoman. Uh, this is, they're hard to bend over to and have them reach uh, the handle. So you can see, I kind of just cheated. She can't even reach for the handle. I mean, the, the the design of this is really weird to begin with. And you get figures like Batman, who has very limited range in his his legs to begin with. And you got Catwoman, who's, who doesn't, but still the costume doesn't allow her to stretch and move in a way that you want them to so you're just gonna have to i'm pretty sure there's like this is the hands because catwoman comes with hands that are supposed to hold the handles for this bat pod but it's uh it's a bit hard as you can see there i mean it look does look nice you can see if they're sitting and i'm not even posing this right for various reasons because i don't want my catwoman to deteriorate all of a sudden and um i don't want the uh, bat pod to be all over the place and this is Batman. This is the Armory Batman. So pretty much like DX12. As you can see there, the hands are not exactly there. So I would suggest that if you... There's this cape holder, as you can see from the back, that have his cape kind of flowing. So that kind of assists you there if you put Batman in. Uh, again, I didn't put it the right way. I didn't have those... Um, when I initially bought this, I didn't have those rubber pieces to go in his back. But here you go, guys. If you are planning to buy this vehicle slash accessory, put a price range into it. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you, you'll see some new in-box sellers and whatnot uh, for $500. I would get this for maybe $350, $400 at most. Uh, it is a nice piece, but it's also frustrating because there's a lot of things that, that is kind of loose and just all over the place. So And, and also display piece is... Uh, it, it doesn't fit in your in your display cabinet and all this, unless you have a really big cabinet but yeah there's there's a lot of things that's uh, a little bit iffy when you get this accessory so keep that in mind it's huge so if you want to contain it in a case you probably have to buy an acrylic case that um, is custom made for this but really nice piece and for the right price it might be worth picking up for your collection so once again, thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Like this video or give it a thumbs down, whatever you think. And I'll see you in the next review.